I'm meteorologist Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska statewide weather on this Wednesday, November 29th. On the weather map this afternoon, we have low pressure just east of Kodiak Island over the western gulf with a occluded front arcing uh, southeastward ahead of it. And this low is responsible for some areas of accumulating snow, uh, especially along uh, the Kenai Peninsula. A winter weather advisory is in effect until 9 p.m. this evening for Turnagain Pass. That area, once you get around Turnagain Pass from Girdwin, then you're driving to Seward. That Turnagain Pass has picked up anywhere from 8 to nearly 12 inches of heavy wet snow. Uh, that is the area being impacted, and that advisory is in effect till 9 p.m. this evening. Another area that's going to see accumulating snow this evening into early Thursday morning is the northern panhandle from Haines to Kluwan. Three to five inches of snow is expected where a winter weather advisory is in effect there for this evening through early Thursday morning. Otherwise, temperatures are going to gradually cool across the mainland, closer to normal values as we head through the end of this weekend, early weekend. We're also watching the potential arrival of a series of solar disturbances the next couple of days. There could be a strong class three geomagnetic storm at some point tomorrow, November 30th into December 1st, which could also trigger some very active auroral displays as far south as it well into the mid latitudes of the lower 48. So if you do have clear skies in your vicinity, you're going to want to watch them, especially uh, Thursday night for the potential for active aurora. Looking farther ahead, this cooling trend we're going to see over the weekend getting us back to near normal temperatures. We're looking at a push of Arctic air that will be coming in out of Siberia, out of eastern Russia and crossing the Bering Sea by this time, the middle of next week. And by the time we get into next weekend, much of the mainland and southwest areas, including the Alaska Peninsula, could see temperatures uh, much colder, much so below normal than what we've been accustomed to recently. And with it, some renewed rounds of snow as well. So stay tuned to later forecast in that regard. Otherwise, keep your eyes peeled if you have clear skies for the northern lights coming up here the next couple of nights. For Alaska statewide weather, I'm Peter Chan.